third reason why believers are not able to produce mighty works that become witnesses to territories. Are you ready? Demonic oppression. Demonic oppression. Yes, sir. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12. Ephesians 6 and verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, the Bible says, but against principalities, powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. First John chapter 5 and verse 19 tells us we are of God and the whole world lies in wickedness. There is no part of the world that is spared. It says the whole world lieth in wickedness. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 8, popular scripture, 1 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 8. Am I right on that? Is it 8 or 18? 18. 1 Thessalonians 2, 18. I desired to come to you, wherefore we would have come to you, even I, Paul, once and again. Read it with me. But Satan hindered us. But Satan hindered us. Satan can fight men, can fight their influence, their joy, their visibility, can fight the giftings of God in their lives, can fight ministries, businesses, families, dreams, visions. Satan can try to hinder men. The Bible did not leave us in the dark as to the fact that there is an adversary that is out determined to thwart everything that is God in our lives. Satan will not fold his arms and watch you continue to excel. He will not fold his arms and watch ministry excel, family excel, your career excel, your visibility excel. He will make attempts to see that he fights it. Demonic oppression. The Bible encourages us to put the full armor of God or the whole armor of God. There's, there's even, a, there's even a, teaching, a teaching series on that. The whole armor of God. I will be explaining to you what the Bible means when it says the whole armor of God. Because you can put some. When Satan looks at you spiritually, there is what he's looking at. And when he finds a place that is not fortified and covered, that becomes his entrance point. So the Bible says no weapon fashioned against you. Fashioning requires creativity, observation. Are we together? Yes, so the Bible talks of the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, and all of that. He, he, the, the entire formation, he calls it the whole armor of God. He says on the strength of that whole armor, you will be able to stand against the wiles of the enemy. The strategies of the enemy. In my life and in ministry, I have seen demonic oppressions over people. Look at the story of this, our dear sister. The lady who got married to that, gentle, that, 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 that gentleman. You see that? And you can imagine, HIV from nowhere, just landed. I, I can tell you, there are so many people that I have prayed for who would tell you they went to bed in peace. And they saw these demonic entities who come, hold syringes, inject them, and they will wake up physically with HIV. Or some kind of oppression. And they will wake up with all kinds of demonic things that cannot be explained. Many years ago, sincerely so, this was in Zaria. A woman met me, she, she had a stillbirth. And she gave birth while she was pregnant. She said every night she would see like monkeys and chimpanzees come to her, try to oppress her, molest her, and do all of these things. And she took it for granted. God is my witness. She said she gave birth to a child that was hairy like a monkey, was still birth physically. The realm of the spirit is a real realm. And it can find expression here. Are we together? If you are in doubt, ask Job. 
the discussion about his destiny was not done on earth yet the result was seen on earth are we together now yes this is not to scare you but this is to let you know that satan will not leave you by default he did not leave jesus by default the bible says he left him for a season your assignment is to be equipped with the truths from scripture that makes for your victory in Christ. And I hope that I will have the time to teach us. I, I'm, I'm telling you, you are, you are in for an amazing time this year. Because that deliverance, wait till we get to our deliverance series. Because I'll be teaching you what the Bible calls weapons of victory. You have to know what they are. Most believers do not know the tools for victory. The power of the word, the power of the name, the power of the blood. There are many extra biblical weapons that are not needed. Many, many people have shipped in all kinds of things. In fact, let me show you something. While I was preparing, I wrote something down. Leviticus chapter 20 and verse 6. The Lord put it in my heart and it is both a burden and a warning. The body of Christ and believers have to be careful. I know that because it seems like we are not seeing the power and the grace of God as should be. Many people are, begin to, are beginning to resort to all kinds of occultic and demonic things. Here's a word from the Lord. And the soul that turneth after such as have familiar spirits and after wizards to go warring after them, I will even set my face against that soul and I will cut him off from among his people. Deuteronomy 18 from verse 10. This is a warning. Deuteronomy 18 from verse 10. It says, There shall not be found among you, Nigeria, Africa, listen, anyone that maketh his son or his daughter, parents, please hear this to pass through fire or that use it divination or an observer of times or an enchanter or a witch next verse or a charmer or a consulter with familiar spirits or a wizard or a necromancer he's giving a warning that among the fold of they that be of faith these kinds of things should not be found. You will be surprised to know how many believers who sit in church, sing and dance, fall down under the anointing, stand up, and immediately church is over. They would go to any length to go and consult mediums and consult all kinds of things. I'm not condemning you. It's with a heart of love. Many of us come from families and backgrounds where we are supposed to participate in that heritage of continuity of all these idols and the rest. And those powers will not want to let you go. They will appear to you, people will send for you from the village and say, we are still waiting. You are supposed to continue this. But the Bible says we have been called out of every tribe, tongue, kindred. It's a new race, but you must connect through knowledge. Hallelujah. I have seen great people who love God, but out of pressure, they went to consult familiar spirits. Respectfully speaking, preachers, business people, they don't have to necessarily be evil. Can I tell you, do not allow any kind of pressure push you to invite Satan to your life for help. Satan does not help men. He only destroys. Apostle, I'm in need of a child. 10, 15 years. And someone says, there's someone. It's not exactly a pastor, but it's not bad. He really, he has this thing. It's a gift. It's a gift God gave everybody. Be careful. Some of those sociological things. I know it's not easy, but we must obtain grace from God. Oh, there's something I can give you. It will bring members. Oh, there's something I can give you. It will bring power. There's something I can give you. The worst one is the one of money. You look at the person who wants to bless you and you look at him and you even give him an honorarium because of how miserable he's looking. How in the world is that person going to help you? 
He's not even a kingmaker. That is not kingmaker anointing. That person is miserable. What do you think happens to the chicken and the goat and the ram and the cow? Just think, just think for one minute. Aside from the one they bury in front of you, what do you think actually happens when you go? They just tell you, go, it is done. Then what happens? Are we together? Please, in this, this, would I call it post-pandemic period, we need wisdom. Don't allow anybody manipulate you and plunder you for nothing. A native doctor that asks you to buy cow is a heartless person. Knowing what has happened and, and is asking you, what, what sort of a thing is that? buy this buy that and you see people who are struggling they go and buy all these things with all kinds of promises you will get this contract and you find out that it does not happen do you know why it does not happen i will tell you even if there is a semblance of power it does not happen because the believer in christ will go there doubting a non-believer will go with 100 do you know that it still takes faith for that thing to work so the reason why it does not work is the same reason why the prophecy in church does not work because you are half-hearted. Either ways, the Bible said, let that man not think he shall receive anything. While the man is doing it, you want to believe what there's that fear. Ah, Jesus, you died for me, but you see, it's, it's pressure that is making me do this. <laughs> How can I call on your name and end up in shame? Because you are my God. You are my God. You don't have to leave this place fighting anyone. But when people invite you out of sympathy and say, we've looked at your situation, we want to help you. You look at them with compassion and tell them, if it's not in your presence, if it's not from your hand, if it's not by your spirit, don't let me have it, for everything I need is in you. The three Hebrew boys said, we will not bow to you. Oh, when it has to do with touching this matter, our God will deliver us. But even if he does not deliver us, we will not bow. Don't say it's like that. It's, it's, the problem is where I come from. You are not the only one who comes from that place. Woe to those who go down to Egypt for help. They will ask you to do unbelievable things for power. Kill your own children. Sacrifice whatever it is. Politicians, let's be careful. This is the time for election now. And this is the time for all this rubbish. Sound sincere people, but because of desperation for power. Let's be careful.